There are lots of ways to analyze motion. One such way is to conduct a ticker tape analysis. This is where a long tape is attached to an object that's moving. That tape is threaded through a device that puts a tick or impression on the tape at regular time intervals. For example, every 0.1 or 0.2 seconds. This leaves a line of dots on the tape, recording the object's motion. The line of dots on the tape is called a ticker tape diagram. You can measure the distances between the dots to see how far the object traveled during each 0.1 or 0.2 seconds. But you can also figure out the type of motion that occurred at a glance if you know what to look for. The closer the dots are together on the tape, the slower the object moved. The further apart the dots are on the tape, the faster the object moved. But whatever the spacing may be, if the spacing isn't changing, that tells you that the object moved at a constant speed. A ticker tape diagram of this kind would look something like this. But what about acceleration? An acceleration is a change in the velocity of an object over a period of time. So what does an acceleration look like on a ticker tape diagram? Well, if the speed is changing, the spacing of the dots must be changing. For example, you might get a ticker tape diagram that looks like this. This diagram would represent an object that was speeding up because the dots are getting further and further apart. It's important to note that this diagram and all the diagrams in this video assume that the ticker tape was pulled to the left. If you imagine the ticker tape being pulled to the left through the ticker device, if it moves faster, the dots will get further apart. Or you might get a ticker tape diagram that looks like this. This diagram would represent an object that was slowing down because the dots are getting closer and closer together. If you want to analyze the motion quantitatively, all you have to do is measure the distance between each dot and plot the dots on a distance time graph. Then you can complete whatever analysis you like from that point onwards. Here are four ticker tape diagrams where the tape was pulled to the left. Your job is to match the description to the diagram. One of the diagrams is a constant but relatively slow velocity. One is a constant fast velocity. One is where an object was speeding up and one is where an object was slowing down. Now would be a good time to pause the video and write down your answer. Do that now. If you're still watching this video, it means that you're ready for the answer. Here it is. The close together dots represent a slow moving object because it didn't travel far between each tick. The far apart dots represent a fast moving object and that also means that dots getting further apart represents an object speeding up and dots getting closer together represents an object slowing down. And that's the answer. One way to analyze motion is called a ticker tape analysis. This is where a long tape is attached to an object that's moving. That tape is threaded through a device that puts a tick or impression on the tape at regular time intervals. For example, every 0.1 or 0.2 seconds. This leaves a line of dots on the tape recording the object's motion. The line of dots on the tape is called a ticker tape diagram. The closer the dots are together on the tape, the slower the object moved. The further apart the dots are on the tape, the faster the object moved. But whatever the spacing may be, if the spacing isn't changing, that tells you that the object moved at a constant speed. An acceleration is a change in the velocity of an object over a period of time. This diagram would represent an object that was speeding up because the dots are getting further and further apart. This diagram would represent an object that was slowing down because the dots are getting closer and closer together. Both these diagrams, like all the diagrams in this video, assume that the ticker tape was being pulled through the device to the left. If you want to analyze the motion quantitatively with numbers, all you have to do is measure the distance between each dot and plot the dots on a distance time graph. 